people, people come up here and say, how do you all manage to live here? I say, well, we're just used to it, you know. Ain't nobody here where I like it. But I'll say, oh, we don't have no problems here or nothing, you know. It's honest work, yeah. That's what I like. I was born in 1939, and I've been here all, all my life. I was born and raised here. My name is Emilio Hinojosa. I, I live in Comstock, Texas. It's a good town. Ain't nobody here where I like it. We, we don't have no problems here or nothing, you know. Yeah, we used to have good business here. I had that. I had a lot of people that to come up here, you know, deer hunters, people traveling through. I used to have a bunch of stuff here, you know, old pictures and stuff like that. Here's the name of it. Everybody knows everybody here, you know. Comes to just a little town, you know, and then too many people here living here. It's just like y'all being living in big towns, you know. I don't like to go to big cities either. Too much noise. <laughs> We used to be a bunch of them in the houses here, you know. We had a lot of family here, you know. Uncles, brothers, and cousins, whatever, you know. And they all, they, they all been dead except me and another brother that lives in Amarillo. He's 80, 83, 84 years old. And I'm right behind him. He was here the other day when he said, he, he said we're the only ones left. And which is true, you know. It's beautiful, yeah. Real, real beautiful river, yeah. It is. Uh, they found out about me when I had that restaurant, you know. So I tell them, would you give me a call? No, I will. I'll be glad to take it to the river. From here, it's about 64 miles, one way. So they just give me a call, and they would, they say, we'd like to go up there and to take us to the river, you know. And they come to my house, and I'll take them from, from here all the way to Pandale. I drive with them, the their own trucks, you know. I'm there until they get in the water. And once they get in the water, I tell them, I'm gone. And they shake hands with me and they say, we'll call you whenever we get out. For 60, 65 miles, you're not going to see nothing else. Just the water river. But once you get on it, you, you can't get out of there. Sometimes it takes an extra day for them people to get out. Because the wind blowing real hard through that canyon. You, know. you can't paddle, you, you, you're always going back. You know. it's, it's real tough, yeah. And then people would call me, the canoe would call me, he said, Emilio, we're out of the river. And he hit you up, and the people said, we're, we're sure happy to see you here. We, we want to get out of here, you know. He said, thank you for doing this for us, and, and I, I'll thank them too, you know, for coming in. I'm pretty happy to see you, you know. South Carolina, North Carolina, Dallas, Houston, uh, Canada, I get one bunch from Canada coming up here. New York, uh, Arizona, New Mexico. I get them from everywhere. 
And they're all real good people too. I made a little money. I, I didn't get. I, I'm not getting rich out of it, you know. But I, I, I enjoy the people that I, that I meet, you know. They're all real good, nice people. All I, all I want them people just to remember me. That's all.